As an example application of determining the neutral axis for a beam, let's consider a beam with a triangular cross section. So it has height h and based with b, and the, the sides are sloped at an angle alpha, and we'll assume that e is equal to constant. And let's go ahead and try and determine what the location of the neutral axis is, and we'll compute it relative to the bottom of the beam here. Uh, now normally for simple shapes and common engineering beams that you can buy out of catalogs and things like that, these values are given to you already, but it's good to know how to calculate them also. So let's go ahead and try and calculate YNA. Now since uh, E is equal to constant, we actually are simply trying to determine the centroid of the triangle here. So that's the integral of YB over the cross section divided by the area of the cross section, so the integral of 1 DA in this case here. So we can go ahead and expand out the area integral in the top. In the bottom is just the area, so it's 1 half base times height. But in the top, we'll go ahead and break it up into integral with respect to z and yb. So uh, y will go from 0 to h, and or sorry, yb will go from 0 to h, and z will go from uh, some function as a function of yb uh, plus or minus. So we're defining that relative to the center line of the cross section here. So I'll stick in z and yb explicitly. And so fyb is just simply the distance from the center line over to the side here. So it's one of these double integrals where the limits of integration change with respect to coordinate. So that's just the equation for the straight line for the sloping side there. And now we can go ahead and do the integral. Uh, first do the integral with respect to z. That just gives me uh, the width of the system. And then we can do the integral with respect to yb. So computing the integral with respect to yb, out of the first term we'll get a yb squared over 2, and out of the second term we'll get a yb cubed over 3. We can plug in the limits 0 and h, and we get this expression here, and we can simplify that a little bit, and we end up with h over 3 for the location of the neutral axis, which is equal to the centroid in this case. So that's h over 3 from the bottom of the beam here. So if I plot that, it looks as follows.